Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics and Happy New Year. It's officially 2020 and I challenge every single one of you to make 2020 the best year of your life because I know I definitely am. But anyway, we got to start off this new year strong. Today we are going to be getting fish for the 25 gallon tank. Most of you probably know this, but this tank is home to my convict sickly killer and I named him killer for a reason. I've had killer ever since he was a baby, probably only a couple weeks old. And when I bought him, I actually bought another convict cichlid that was slightly smaller than him. And I also got a baby algae eater and I had them in my two and a half gallon tank, which is the Christmas tank right now. And killer, hence the name, killed both of those fish and ate them, including the bone. So he shows no mercy. <laughs> he was even bullying Sheldon when I had Sheldon in that tank. So that's why I put Sheldon in the 55. So I don't know how well killer is going to get along with these new fish. I did do some research. Killer is a convict cichlid. Convict cichlids are South American cichlids, and he should be able to get along with other South American cichlids. I wanted to get some African cichlids, but after researching it, <laughs> African cichlids don't exactly get along very well with South American cichlids. So that would be a recipe for disaster. I have a couple South American cichlids in mind, so we're gonna head over to the pet store, take a look. If I don't like what I see at one pet store, we'll go to the next one. But without any further ado, let's get this show on the road. All right guys, so I just got done inside Pet Supplies Plus. That's just our kind of local pet store. I think I want blood parrots. Someone I know has convicts and blood parrots together and they get along really well. And I really like blood parrots, so I think that's what I'm gonna go with. They did not have them at this store, so I'm gonna need to head over to, uh, I know of a PetSmart that has them for sure. This store did have pike cichlids though, and that's a fish that I've wanted for a really long time. And those do happen to be South American cichlids, so they probably would get along with the convict. So I may be getting one of those here in the near future. But for now, let's head over to PetSmart. Alrighty guys, just got done inside of PetSmart. There we got the blood parrot. This was the only one without any like weird black spots on it. So let's get this guy home. Alright guys, I just got home. Got the fish right here, but here's the thing. That tank at PetSmart was looking kind of rough. The other blood parrots in that tank were looking kind of rough as well. This was the healthiest looking one, but I'm actually not gonna put this fish in with killer quite yet. You will still see it in this video, but I'm gonna set up my old five and a half gallon tank, just kind of as a quarantine tank, give him a couple days to just make sure he's completely healthy, and then we will put him in the tank with killer. Alright guys, so I have the five and a half gallon tank sitting right here on this table, right next to the 25 gallon. So I am setting up a new tank, and generally when you set up a new tank, you need to wait a while to put fish in it so you can let the nitrogen cycle start happening. But what I'm actually gonna do is take some water out of my 55 gallon tank, put it in the five and a half, and then right here is the filter that I'm gonna use on this tank. It actually uses the same exact cartridges as the 55, so I'm just gonna take one of those out, put it in here, so all the beneficial bacteria will already be in this tank. See, I have this pitcher. I'm just gonna start scooping out water and putting it in the new tank. As you can see there, I went ahead and put that little rock in there. That was Sheldon's old basking area in the turtle tub. I put it in there just to give the blood parrot a place to hide so he can feel safe. So now I need to refill this tank, but while I'm doing that, I am going to put the blood pair in there to start acclimating. Alright guys, the 55 is filled up. The blood pair has been acclimating for a while, but actually one thing I want to do before I put this guy in his tank is I'm actually going to make a cardboard lid for this tank. He's kind of been jumping around in this bag. I don't want him to jump out of the tank. So I'm just going to cut out a little piece of cardboard to go over the top. I've got this box for that. Let's get started. Alright guys, I just made the lid. I cut out a little hole for the filter, and then that's also a little piece of the filter. It fits on there just about perfectly, but now it's time to put this fish in the tank. Oh, 
play and I forgot to mention I'm going to keep a very close eye on these fish once they get together. If Killer bullies this fish too much, I will put him back in this tank or even in the 10 gallon tall that I have hiding under that blanket. But yeah, for now we're gonna give this fish some time in this tank. I am gonna pour some aquarium salt in this tank. That should be good. In case you don't know, this is not marine salt for saltwater tanks. This just helps heal the fish, helps keep them happy, calm, so yeah. He's just chilling back there. I'll check in on him in a little bit. All right guys, it's actually two days later. The new fish is doing great. You can kinda see him right there. He's been eating, I've fed him twice. I'll actually feed him right now. I've just been feeding him these flakes. This fish is looking super good. I think he's actually looking better than he was right when I got him. He seems to be perfectly healthy. So today's the day I'm gonna put him in the 25 gallon with killer. Oh yeah, also my cardboard lid is doing its job. Obviously the fish did not jump out. He may have tried, I don't know, but he certainly isn't getting out of that. But now it's time to put him in the new tank. I'm gonna take out this cave. Got my net, here we go. Killer's hiding somewhere in the driftwood. By the way, these two tanks are the exact same temperature, so there was no need to acclimate him. He's just exploring, uh-oh. I mean, so far so good. Killer's just kind of checking him out. He's not like attacking him or anything. He's just looking at him. I think these fish are gonna end up being okay with each other. Killer's just a very curious fish. He's just kind of checking him out. He hasn't been with another fish in a pretty long time. The blood parrot is really fast and alert, as you can see, so I don't think Killer will even be able to hurt him. And like I said before, these are both South American cichlids, so in theory they should get along. Killer is kind of chasing them around right now. I am going to keep a close eye on these fish for a while, and if no progress whatsoever is made, if Killer still chases the blood parrot around like this, or if I start seeing bite marks on the blood parrot, then I will move him back into a different tank. But we're just going to give him some time, I'm going to turn the camera off. If anything crazy happens, I'll pick the camera back up. But yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so it's been a little over an hour, and here's what's going on. Killer's just staying near the bottom like he always does, and the blood parrot figured that out. He's just chilling up here at the top to stay away from Killer. Killer's still kind of patrolling around the tank, but he's no longer bothering the blood parrot. Hopefully it won't be like this for long. I don't like seeing him all cornered up like that. It's kind of sad. But I don't know, I really just think these two fish will get along in the end. I guess time will tell. Like I said, it has only been an hour, so you can't really judge how their whole relationship is gonna be just within their first hour together. So we are gonna give them some more time. I will definitely keep you guys updated on them. Hopefully all goes well, but that is gonna wrap up this video. I have today's comment of the day and that goes out to Bello Vita. Great content, can't wait to see how your channel grows in 2020. Thank you very much, I can't wait either. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. If you did like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I am going to see you in the next video.